Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm here with this week's angel messages. So this week we're using a big stack of angel cards. What I'd love for you to do is place your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. All right? So what I'll do with these is I'll just shuffle them a little bit first and then I will take the top card on the stack so let's see top card here is Archangel Gabriel it says blocks lifted we always love that don't we it says previous obstacles came from fear and they are now lifted away part of this is you know that word block and realizing just lately that we talk about blocks we talk about all these things in the way we talk about the obstacles and to focus on them to clear them maybe we need to also focus on what's beyond the block so when we think about a block or there's a block to my wealth or there's a block to me having relationships or there's a, a block to me being successful etc then maybe that's what keeps us stuck as well thinking that there's a block and something that needs to be removed cleared let go of we also need to focus on what is beyond that block so focusing on the success focusing on the relationship focusing on whatever it is that you believe is stuck at this time visualizing it imagining it just moving with the flow, allowing you to get into that place where you're in alignment with that energy that you most want. And when we talk about blocks and fears, fear gets in the way of so much. If it's not love, then it's fear. So maybe instead of focusing on the fear and the blocks being lifted with the fears, focus on love, focus on the energy of love. My success is filled with love. My relationships are filled with love. Whatever it is you want at this time, focus on all the love coming into it and you being embraced, engulfed, <laughs> really filled with the vibration of love, the energy of love, the frequency of love. How would that feel? Full of love, hopefully. All right, number two, let's see what's coming up for you. Let's, let's move these, shuffle these around. All right. So this card is Shower of Abundance, probably because you're moving all those blocks, right? Shower of Abundance. I love this card. Now you see that card, the image on it, and then look at the image on the other side. It's the Shower of Abundance on the other side, right? I often think that when a card comes up and it's the actual ca card image on the box or the back of the card, that it has even deeper, greater meaning for us. So the shower of abundance, the message is it's a shower of abundance, but at the same time, it's like every card in the box has that energy of it. So it's not just about abundance that's coming up for you. It's, it's almost a sense of all your ducks are in a row. So the universe is supporting you in every possible way all the time but there's that song age of aquarius isn't there when everything's in alignment all the planets are in alignment and that's the sense of this card that it's saying everything is coming into alignment for you so if you've been wanting something in your life if there's something missing then the angels are saying it's okay everything's going to be in alignment for whatever it is for you to step into if you feel ready because that's the thing we can say oh these things are ready for you this relationship is available for you this job is available for you but if you're not completely ready then you'll move past it you won't see it you won't be aware of it it's there but you may not connect to it so your angels are saying with this particular card, the Shower of Abundance, that you are in alignment, that your energy is in alignment. Watch for the signs. Are you ready? 
for that success? Are you ready for that relationship? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for that? Are you truly ready? Be honest with yourself. So the message is to heal your financial situations. This can be about money. It's not necessarily though. First, give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. And that's the key word. The key words, as fast as you'll allow or as you'll allow. So if at this moment you're thinking, you know, my finances are fine, the money situation is okay, then this card doesn't make any sense to me. It's because it's talking about everything else is in alignment for you. There's a movement forward with something in your life that may, it's going to make you feel like this is abundance to you. Abundance of love, abundance of success, abundance of whatever it is you most desire right now. And that could be finances too. Ooh, I love that card. Okay. Final card. Let's see who wants to come up. I like moving then three times. <laughs> you remember the last thing I just said? Be honest with yourself. Where tension goes, energy flows, right? Be honest with yourself. So this is look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. So whatever is going on in your life at this moment, if you feel like at the beginning we talked about blocks, and then there was that abundance energy. It's almost like a big shift, a big turnaround from blocks to abundance, isn't there? And this being honest with yourself is really knowing yourself, knowing who you are. So sometimes we can say, this isn't working for me. The universe, it's the universe's fault, you know. But maybe it's that it's us. Maybe we're the ones that are stopping ourselves from moving forward or taking that opportunity moving in a particular direction that we most desire, we think we most desire, and yet on some level within us, we're resisting it, we're pushing against it. Why would we do that? And that's an aspect of being honest with yourself. Are you really ready for this next step? Are you really ready for that heart's desire to manifest? Be honest with yourself. So it says it's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us the courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angel's wings. Love that. I love that this card has this beautiful blue violet as well there because that's the color of vision and opening up, recognition, seeing all sides to a story. So that being honest with yourself has lots of different levels to it. And what's interesting with this is I feel that there's a, a, a message here about forgiveness as well. That, that being honest with yourself, it's about release, letting go, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, forgiving the universe, moving on. And I feel that all the cards are connected with that as well. Because right from the beginning, it was about blocks, releasing the blocks. And sometimes that block is simply not forgiving. So that forgiveness sets you free. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next week. Angel blessings to you.